in this video I'm going to solve the ODE y prime prime plus 2y prime minus 3y is equals to exponent of 4x. And this equation that we are given is a second order non-homogeneous ODE. To solve uh, this uh, non-homogeneous ODE, we first have to solve for the associated homogeneous ODE. That homogeneous ODE, we just take the right hand side there, the exponent of 4x, we replace it with a 0 so that we have the homogeneous ODE. So we have to first solve the homogeneous ODE, y prime prime plus 2y prime minus 3y is equals to 0. So we look at uh, that uh, homogeneous second order ODE, we see that it is of the form a2y prime prime plus a1y prime plus a0y is equals to zero. This is a second order ODE with constant coefficients. To solve a second order ODEs with constant coefficients, we first have to find the auxiliary equation, which is of the form a2m squared plus a1m plus a0 is equals to zero. So comparing this equation with this equation here, we see that uh, the coefficients there, the a2 is equals to 1, the a1 is equals to 2, a0 is equals to minus 3. So we have uh, those uh, coefficients a2, a1, and a0. So we can now go on and obtain our auxiliary equation, substitute these values of the a's here. And we would have our auxiliary equation there, it will be m squared plus 2m minus 3 is equals to 0. This equation here, we can factorize it and it will give us m plus 3 multiplied by m minus 1 is equal to 0. We can then go on and solve for the m and we will have that our m1 is equal to minus 3 and the second root m2 is equal to 1. So what we are having there, we are having a real distinct roots. If the auxiliary equation is a real distinct roots, then uh, the general solution of the homogeneous ODE is C1 exponent of M1x plus C2 multiplied by exponent of M2x. So we substitute these values of the M1 and the M2 here, and we'll have that our complementary solution will be equals to C1 exponent of minus 3x plus C2 exponent of uh, x. So what we have found here, this is uh, the solution to the homogeneous ODE, this one. And this solution is what we are calling the complementary solution to the equation y prime prime plus 2y prime minus 3y is equal to exponent of 4x. So we have uh, that complementary solution. We now need to find the particular solution. To find the particular solution, in uh, this tutorial, I'm going to use the method of undetermined coefficients. So for the method of undetermined coefficients, when we are looking at an equation of the form a2y prime prime plus a1y prime plus a0y is equals to g of x, we look at our g of x there, which is on the right hand side, and look at what is on the right hand side in the equation that we are given is exponent of 4x. So what we see there is our g of x compared with the one in the table, we see that it is of the form a exponent of beta x. So what we now need to do is we now need to find the value of the beta. The beta we are just comparing this one here, the exponent of 4x to the exponent of beta x there. So we are having 4x here, here we are having beta x. So it will mean that our beta is equal to 4. So if we have found our beta, the method of undetermined coefficients, we are saying we are taking a guess of uh, the particular solution to be this one here. So we are saying our beta is a 4. So our particular solution there will be a exponent of 4x. So we have that as the particular solution. I will go on and label this equation number 1 and this one equation number 2. What we now need to do is we need to substitute equation number 2 into equation number 1. But in equation number 1, we are having a y prime there and a y prime prime. So what we need to do is we need to differentiate equation number 2 with respect to x so that we get a y prime. So differentiating equation 2 with respect to x, we get y prime is equal to 4a multiplied by exponent of 4x. 
and I will then go on and label this equation, equation number 3. We now need to find y prime prime. So we differentiate equation number 3 with respect to x. So when you differentiate 3 with respect to x, we get y prime prime is equals to 16a multiplied by exponent of 4x. I will then go on and label this equation, equation number 4. And the next step is now to substitute equation number 2, 3, and 4 into equation number 1. So substitute those equations 2, 3, 4 into 1, and we will have 16a multiplied by exponent of 4x plus 2 times 4 times a times exponent of 4x minus 3 times a times exponent of 4x is equals to exponent of 4x. Looking at this part here, the 2 times 4, it gives us an 8. So our equation becomes 16a exponent of 4x plus 8a exponent of 4x minus 3a exponent of 4x is equals to exponent of 4x. We can then go on and uh, combine those. 16 plus 8 minus 3, it gives us a 21. So our equation becomes 21a exponent of 4x is equals to exponent of 4x. So using this equation that we have just obtained, we can now solve for a. To solve for a, we can divide throughout there by the exponent of 4x, then make a subject of the formula. So deva a will give us 1 divided by 21. So we have found the value of the a there. We substitute it into the particular solution here. And we'll get that our particular solution is 1 over 21 multiplied by exponent of 4x. So we now have our particular solution. What we now need to find is the general solution of equation number 1. The general solution of equation number 1 is given by y, which is equal to the complementary solution plus the particular solution. Our complementary solution is this one here, c1 exponent of minus 3x plus c2 exponent of x. Our particular solution, which you have just obtained, is 1 divided by 21 multiplied by exponent of 4x. So substitute that complementary solution and the particular solution into this equation here, and we would have that our y is equal to c1 exponent of minus 3x plus c2 exponent of x plus 1 divided by 21 multiplied by exponent of 4x. So what you are having here, that's uh, the general solution of the non-homogeneous ODE, which is given in equation number 1.